Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to imitate a sounds of BB-8. Let's start. So in case you don't know who or what uh, BB-8 is, check the following video. So, as you can see, BB-8 is a droid from uh, the Star Wars movies and this droid creates a specific type of sounds and actually those sounds are pretty easy to recreate so I'm gonna try to do it today but keep in mind that uh, Star Wars producers have some of the best sound designers in the world so I'm just gonna show you a basic idea how to do this sound. So what we need is a saw wave oscillator, we need um, a pitch variation in a range about of four or two octaves, and we will also need a um, bandpass, adjustable bandpass filter. So I will use uh, as a sound source three times oscillator, which is a basic image line uh, synthesizer. And uh, as you can see, it has three oscillators, but I'm going to only need just one. So I will turn the volume of those two down and I will choose uh, the saw wave oscillator. I will decrease the volume a little bit and I will go to piano roll and create some kind of sequence. I will use uh, E for note and I will create some kind of a sequence that will imitate like a speaking droid. Something like this. Actually, it can be anything. But I will shorten those notes a little bit because I want uh, to have uh, small spaces between uh, each uh, note trigger. Okay, so let's put it in the playlist. And now, as you can see, maybe let's listen to it first. Okay, so it's just a basic sequence with a soul wave oscillator. I will uh, speed the tempo a little bit, however it's not necessary. And uh, I put it in the first uh, mixer channel where I uploaded um, Fab filter EQ, and here I will choose the bandpass filter with the uh, 96 dB per octave slope, and we have something like this. So it already sounds a little bit like this droid, however, as you can see, I have here a control surface, and I will uh, use it as a modulation and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open I'm gonna put uh, two knobs here uh, one and the second knob okay and now I will adjust this band frequency to the first knob so just by moving the position of this knob and then I go to the tools, last tweaked and the link to controller and here I will choose the internal controller knob 6 which is this knob. So now as I'm moving this knob I am also moving the position of the filter. And the other thing I would like to assign to this knob is the course in our synthesizer. So as I moved it here, I will also go to the tools last week, um, link to controller, and I'm gonna choose the same knob, number six, except, and now as I'm moving the knob, you can see that I'm also changing the position of course and the frequency filter at the same time. Now we have uh, this effect. 
Yeah, it already sounds very similar. And this knob number seven, I will use to the width of the filter. So the same situation, you're moving this knob, going to the tools, last tweak it, last tweaked. Um, link to controller, and this time you choose knob number seven. Accept, and as you can see, you're changing the, the width of the filter. So now we can uh, play with some automations. I will uh, start with knob number six. So create automation clip. And yeah, let's do it. And remember, it can be anything, actually. You can play with it. Okay, let's listen to it. Okay, now we can uh, change uh, the value of uh, knob number 7 and we will see what effect it's going to bring it. Create automation clip. Okay, let's try something like this. Okay, so basically that's it. It was a very simple technique. We only used uh, one oscillator, um, uh, bandpass filter and some pitch uh, variation. Uh, and all those uh, functions were assigned to two knobs. So very simple technique, how to imitate a sounds of BB-8. And um, and that's it. Now let's check how BB-8 goes with some dark side music. Mm -hmm.